like a good side of mine Just watch me break Hi everyone, it's Akila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'll be giving you a tour of my current Toka family roleplay house. The house that I'm using is the Fluffy Friends house, and I just think it's so cute. Keep in mind, I do own all the packs, but if you have any questions on where I got any of these items from, make sure you leave a comment and I'll try my best to get back to you. And if not, I'm sure someone else will help you out. And with that being said, let's get started with the tour. So obviously we're starting here in the living room and I did change up a couple things since the last time you guys saw this house, but nothing too crazy. Um, I don't have anything in the front yard decorated just because I wasn't really sure what to do. But since we're probably gonna be moving in this series, I think it's fine to just leave it alone. And I'll get more into that at the end of this video, but here we are so there's this basket right here with a couple items so we have like some hand sanitizer a mask and of course some house keys i also changed the couch to this one this couch came with the fluffy friends pack and i think it's just so cute it looks really comfortable we have some toys laying around like this little dog right here speaking of dogs this is our dog charlie's bed i have space heaters in pretty much every room because i just think they're super cute and also very helpful of course when it comes to role plays and stuff here is livy's ipad just sitting up here she doesn't really take good care of this thing but um if i could just put it down that would be great toka thank you um but yeah there's also some crayons and Oh my gosh, I finally got this little toy, this cute plushie in the gift drop that they did. I was looking around for this forever, trying to figure out where everybody got it from. So I finally have it and it's just sitting up there. And this remote is from the hospital, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, and then of course the TV and this plant i literally have in every single room so don't mind that it's my favorite plant in toka now we're gonna be moving on to our kitchen this shelf is also from the fluffy friends pack it's my favorite shelf ever i love this little cupboard down below so in here you can see all of charlie's dog food and treats there's also this really adorable waffle maker and it's like a little cloud and a rainbow and then up top we have a couple things like sugar pasta nutella and there's also some candy in the back i had to hide this from the kids because they will get into it not even just the kids but my husband too and then at the top there's a couple jarred items like baby food and honey now down here this is our little coffee station and i just think it's so cute on this little rolly cart and this is our real kitchen area so we have some counter space napkins this is where our sink and stove and oven are so in the sink i just have this little like food container like a school lunch box but there's nothing in it it's just in the sink because somebody needs to wash it out and it's not gonna be me because i'm not the one that used it in these drawers i have a couple more kitchen appliances and there's also these little like recipe cards and i have all of them in here so for instance this is the dinner one and let's just go over here to the side so there's this recipe card right here so it tells you the items that you need to make the food and i just find that really really helpful and then above the sink there's a couple towels and stuff and these towels i think i found them in the krill grill these are just super cute there's the plant again and then above that there's this little basket let's just grab that and it basically just has a bunch of carbs and stuff there's really nothing too crazy going on in here let's go ahead and just open it up so here we have on the top shelf just like some breakfast goods and some to-go lunches then on the second shelf we have a basket of fruit 
just strawberries. There's also milk and juice boxes. And then on the bottom shelf, there's a basket of vegetables and pickles. And you can find this pickle jar at the little fall festival, I believe. And the next area we're moving on to is the dining area. I like it. I think it's cute. I did switch it up a little bit. And then on the dining table, there's just a couple loaves of bread. And last but definitely not least, this is Charlie's food dispenser. I know it's for a cat, but it's literally pink, so I had to get it. Moving on to my all-time favorite room in this house, the girls' room. They share as of now, but if we do end up moving, you know, I'll probably give them their own space. But I just think it's the perfect mix of both of them. So on this side, we have Livy's part of the room, which is my youngest daughter. You can tell by all of the toys and stuff. And she has her little frog toy chest up there. And then on this side, we have Leah's section. And you can tell because it's more like preppy and just a little bit older. And down here, we have Leah's pet bunny named Chocolate. The bathroom is the room that literally has changed the most. And I like it. I don't know. I find bathrooms really tricky in this game. I like it as of now, but I could definitely hate it later. But we're gonna just roll with it. So there's a little laundry area, of course with some towels and some cleaning supplies above there. And then the toilet, this little basket full of mainly baby supplies, but also some extra toilet paper. And down here we have the bathtub. We have our sink with my favorite shelf behind here. Um, there's just a couple toiletries, a first aid kit, their toothbrushes and stuff. And then in this drawer, there's just a bunch of random items. I kind of like that this house is cluttered, but I feel like it's not doing too much. Like, you can definitely overdo it with the clutter. And I'm not trying to give hoarder vibes or anything. In here, there's just a bunch of clothes and also these really cute sleeping bags. This room belongs to Layla, Adrian, and baby Amir. So I think it works out perfectly. We have Layla's laptop that she uses. And then his section, which you guys saw in my last Toka roleplay, if you watched it when Layla was still pregnant. Okay, for the last two rooms of the tour, we are now in the bonsai house. As much as I love the fluffy friend's house, I really wish it was bigger, but this is me and August's room. I have this little reindeer plushie. This table, there's just a candle, a little um, calendar page, and the plant once again. This little like table storage area um, just has like a little diffuser as well as this green box. There's nothing in it, but it's just there for decoration. Charlie's bed once again. And the last thing is our treadmill. So we can work on unbigging our backs. The final room in the house, a room that I didn't think I was gonna like that much, but I really love it, is my son Leo's room. Um, he did get a new bed, which is this gray one, and he has this little hamburger plushie. It's so adorable. Another space heater, but the main part of his room is this gaming setup. Let's talk about it, because if this was real life, it would be expensive. He spends so much time here that he literally has a mini fridge, and it's stocked up with all the goodies. He has water, milk, um, cola and a bunch of little snacks like look at this we have some chocolate I want to eat this right now but I'm not going to but yeah he has his like backpack up here which is Batsmaru it's so cute up there there's some trophies and like a little toy like a collectible figure a dresser and in the top shelf he just has his contacts and some eye drops the last thing is his duffel bag that he takes to practices. Well, that's it for the tour. And I just want to say we will be most likely moving in the Toka series because we're getting an update soon and I'm pretty sure it's coming with a new house. It literally looks like my dream house. So let me know in the comments if you want to see a moving in and decorating video. And if you enjoyed, do not forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!
get to my